Hello? Hello, are we working? It's a long bloody last, I think, I think we're ready. What's good, my fellow peasants? How are you all doing? New place, new series of tech issues. Not my fault. The uh, TVs are too crusty in this house. They can't even register 1080. Eee! What century were these things made? Bunch of boomer tellies. The lion. The uh, lion's not the best in it either. <laughs> the new house is not. Uh, it's not being kind to me. But I've forced a fix. I've got a tiny fix. I've got a tiny little travel monitor. That's just off to my left. I mean, like one of those little. Yeah, you know, laptop extension displays. I am in ratchety mode. Full-blown peasant tech mode. How you doing guys? Take that off. Yeah, I might look stupid. Um, the hats go back on. Hello guys, hello, hello. I've been off for a few days, moving. Um, come back to the west side of Bali, still in Bali, Indonesia. Uh, got another two weeks here. We've got a nice little house, got a nice little tub, we've got a nice little pool. The TVs can't handle rebirth. <laughs> you are at 70% of the game. No. Wait, what? No. No, that's Brianna. <laughs> no, that's not me, that's Breeze so far. I was going to say that. I'd be miserable if I was 77% done. I can't even imagine how you guys feel who are done. You must want to kill yourselves. What do you live for? Now you've completed rebirth. What, what do you even bother waking up for? What is life post Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? I don't want to think that. It gives me bloody chills. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, my, my eyes are going to be skirting down here. This is just a temporary layout. Uh, layout, hopefully. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really crusty what I've got going on, but guys... The last stream. Woo! What a doozy! What an absolute crazy episode! I've got actually a really cool video I'm going to be releasing to the channel. I, I went to this really cool walk just after Dean's death. That's where we're at. Gee, Dean's death. They did such a good job. Are you guys happy with it? I am more than thrilled with how they did it. Uh, it was beautiful. It was poignant. It was gritty. It was. It's suspenseful, it's very uncomfortable, and it's kind of terrifying to see Dean's mannerisms, like, that far gone. Let's get into the game. Uh, yeah, Dio and Rude having a little a little wrestle. Eleanor's cool. I'm loving Eleanor in this game. Uh, and I'm going to share it with you guys. So this is just pure hypothetical. Hello, Red Dragons. Hello, Solace Imperium. Cookie Gabriel, hello mate, Kami Zantan. What Ken Masters in the house? Woo! Part 3 and Cage 4 keep us going. Oh, you just hopium for the future. <laughs> um, by the way, is everything looking I mean it's not looking okay. Everything's sounding okay. Uh, hopefully I don't see I don't wanna see oh no, I don't wanna see spoilers. All that glitters, yes. Zaki boy has just popped up in my timeline. So, I'm going to be looking down here to play. Yeah, I'm down here. Oh my god, we're back at the orphanage. Oh, snap. Alright, does, does that look okay? Uh, good enough for a playthrough? I, I've, I get very uncomfortable that this orphanage teacher is a honeybee ho. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know how I feel about... Uh, I don't necessarily agree with the trend of, you know, teachers getting fired if they get found on OnlyFans. Do you agree with that? Teachers shouldn't be hoes. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's only the parents who will be finding it. I mean, unless it's secondary school, in which case some of those kids will definitely be on OnlyFans. <laughs> um, yeah, we go in the Zach line. <laughs> But I'm just going to let some people sign on in. Do us a favour, hit the like button for people to assemble.
Yeah, is it is it still frozen? Stream has gone haywire. Oh god. Every chance I can't run through a, a laptop monitor. Let me just quickly see if I can deactivate and reactivate the card. Thanks for letting me know, guys. Right, let's see if this I've got cables going all over the place. This it looks like a it looks like fucking Midgar here, man. Just trying to create live stream conduits to power up this goddamn tech. All right, let me know if it goes down again. Because every chance this can't work. Or my monitor will explode. Uh, but yeah, Glenn coming through a shadowy, shadowy shadows. And I thought for a second, is it Sephiroth? In Glenn's form because he had that you know who I am and that stalking kind of uh, movement to him but I kind of agree with what Bree said that's not really Sephiroth's MO he's far too self-absorbed and narcissistic in his own complex to go and use somebody else's form so I vibe that Genova on the other hand of course does happily use others forms it's back now nice Let's move some things around. Let me move Zach around. See if it's still playing. Let me know. Let me know. Don't inspect this note yet. Oh man, it's so good being back in Midgar. What's the state of things though? Okay, it's the same gap in the sky. Still got the old swirly schwang in the air. The uh, breaking of dimensionality. The fundamental laws of the universe are being broken, Captain. Um, okay, uh, and then finally the point on that, so when I thought, well, if, if this is Genova and it's soul reading uh, Rufus, the line of you know who I am, I mean of course that's curious because we know that Rufus has been infected by Geostigma, he had a piece of it crawl into his ear in one of the Ultimanias, while uh, the healing centre that he was at actually had an accident and it was flooding and him and many patients were drowning and Rufus actually goes out of his way puts himself in danger to try to save some of the other uh, patients at his own expense and then he starts sinking and then a piece of the Genova terror corrupt bizzle goes into his ear and that's what gives him the stigma so he's had Genova in him and of course he hid Genova during Advent Children so, you know, Genova has been doing whisperings, has been in Rufus's head, there would be a knowing between them. And then it occurred to me, Glenova, why would Genova want a Glenova? Well, shit. Sephiroth and Genova have different goals, right? Sephiroth actively usurps Genova and her will and her goals and at her expense for his own. So what if Genova is playing her own card? Her own ace in the hole, her own trump card, something that when the time comes, when the time comes, it can go and you know, play play against Sephiroth. And how what what a better card to play than Glenn? The only other person strong enough to clash swords with Sephiroth, the only one who has that level of physical capability. Mm. Mm. The only thing that kind of shuts that down is, I mean, it means that Glenn would have had to have died in Ever Crisis, his body and soul gone into the live stream and then assimilated by Genova. The only thing that makes me think that's not the case is he looks old, he's aged, with what seems like a consistent flow of time. But maybe that aging is just because he's a haggard, hollowed out ghoul man. Anyway, those have been some of my thoughts. Glenova would be awesome. If it's played in, so Genova can usurp Sefi with some sort of master scheme. Lummet, Genova be playing chess while well, we're playing checkers. Exactly. Like Sephiroth up here playing 5D chess. Genova's gonna at least be trying to do 6D. So what's Genova's ace in the hole? Maybe it is Glenn. <laughs> it's all very exciting. Anyway, are we good guys? Are we good to start? Thank you for waiting so patiently. Right. You were the guy I don't like Eric, oats. Right? Fuck you, oats. Fuck you. Right, before we go, I want to see what everyone's saying. Oh! Uh, 
God, it feels good to be back. Why don't we all go camping? I just will get some use out of the new car. I guess so. Let's check out the whole sector before we go to where we're supposed to. We. My fiance died. The investigation into the strange rift that appeared above Midgard oh. continues. According to experts from Shinra's research and development division, the radiation emitted by the rift has no effect whatsoever on the human body and is completely harmless. Additionally, don't believe that shit. Public security has this to say in regards to the growing fear that the oh, how does come on the telly? We're doing everything in our power oh, to determine right. the nature of this rift. Disregard any baseless speculation. Tune in the day after tomorrow for our interview with the president, where we'll discuss the recent tornado as well as his plans to combat the rift. It's crazy. So there's a hide to get here. So we know there's a Kire in both both ends, both world lines. Now there's a Heidegger for sure. Hey there. You seen anyone who looks like this? Our souls just split. Is one line of souls fate? Know this guy? Who's clown? Is he looking for Cloud? No, why do we look for this guy? Ah. I need to inspect this note. <laughs> nope, sorry. Sorry! Did no uh, need people to uh, to die to imitate them, though? No. Actually, no. It does not. It's just, yeah, it would. Oh. Oh, look, we're looking for bigs. I just want to give you two a taste of how okay, cool. Yay, Zach. Hey there. Have okay. you seen anyone who looks like this? I feel so much more comforted knowing Zach's in the universe. Here to do summon. Oh, oh, hello. What the dick? Shit. Think that's Avalanche? Could be. What the heck? But Better check it out. Big still blowing the snizzle up. Yeah, Genova could definitely just imitate. Uh, no, kids, did you just not hear that explosion? <laughs> so, I feel like I want to go anywhere but the game tells me. Let's okay. go to Aerith's house. Yeah, I mean, this Glen could be a to total soul rate. Read red, so reeded. Glenny. But I also can't see Glenn. I don't know much about him, but I can't see him the one dying peacefully and passing into the live stream without massive karmic baggage. So, Team Genovaroth could definitely have got a hold of him in the live stream. I don't remember Glenn at all in the original. Is he from somewhere else? Yeah, he's a new character that got introduced in a mobile game called uh, Ever Crisis. Basically, he was one of the first uh, batches of Mako Enhanced Soldier. And yeah, all I know is that he went on some missions, formed one of the first squads, and then young teenage Sephiroth, what was he, he was like 14 or something? <laughs> joined his squad and yeah is also one of the few people to know Sephiroth and this is this is similar to what it's like Zach being here one thing I've been curious of my friends my friends is there's a part of Sephiroth that is based on memory right memory Sephiroth just purely the one that Cloud knows from his mind now of course we know that Cloud doesn't know much about Sephiroth if basically anything at all the first time Cloud really met Sephiroth properly was on the Nibelheim mission. And then of course he very soonly after destroyed the whole village. So memory Sephiroth is always far more evil. He's just pure maniacal. He is in no way like a fully rounded out like all the all the aspects of Sephiroth. It's not a proper representation of him. But two people who do know all aspects of Sephiroth, the aspects of him that were, lo were lost when he had to cast them off in the live stream, one of them is this motherfucker right here, Zach Fair. He knows Sephiroth. 
in all the entirety. He knows the parts of Sephiroth that Sephiroth lost. The other person who would, would also be Glenn. Now Sephiroth is looking to try to get those parts of him back. And he, you know, he has Genova's ability to basically memory read. Having these two in the universe could build that picture. That's the other like vein of thinking I've been going on. But you know, that is the biggest way else to say. Ori Sephiroth, man, the one that was before Crisis uh, at Crisis Core, complete Sephi. There's our man. Oh my God, this is so true. <laughs> Fan fiction territory engaged. Don't you dare cut back to the other world line. Don't you. Don't you. Don't you. Don't you don't dare. No. Pardon me. Ah. So, where are we bound, best babies? Oh. So. You asshole so. square. And what's there? Not the real that's what. They're really cock teasing Zach's end. You get such a little. Just a nugget. A little. Tiny morsel every time. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. Am I steering? Oh, I'm steering. There's not much to know. I'm a nine to five nobody at a small Shinra subsidiary. At least make up a. Oh, I'm not steering. Oh. Not really special. Never met a special group of people in all my life. How could I not tag along? How could I not tag along? <laughs> Bullshit. Come now, this is a road trip. We should be bonded, not fighting. Press imitations, man. How could I not tag along? Take down Scarlet. Unless I'm there with you. Oh, Yuffie's uh, on the trauma train. If you don't give up the ghost right here and now, that is. I won't let some stupid guard get the better of me. She gonna chunk out the window? That witch right in the mouth. That's it. Instead of Tifa Scarlet slapping. This way, we'll find somewhere to. Yuffie Scarlet punching. Oh, oh, oh out the, get out of the window. Wait, Lassie, not in the buggy, not in the buggy. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Barrett's hilarious, man. Hello, Jeff B. Feeling Old Bezos is in the house. Uh, leave me. <laughs> Where to now? These characters are so beautiful. And in circles, hoping to, to spot me. a black robe is the worst idea ever. <laughs> Yuffie's getting petulant. When you don't know where life's leading. You should get ah! yourself a reading. Come on, give me that Kate's of the combat. Meow, 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 meow. Hate Sith is the worst in the best way. The lucky fruit hmm. is mushrooms. Um, yes, let's all do hero doses. Mushrooms. Wait, Barrett, you mentioned something mushrooms. earlier about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's a... Don't know why it just popped into my head, but I'm just going to make a total random guess right now. That explosion we just saw in Midgar is not Avalanche, that's the Sviets. Making the call. That's them busting out of, uh, out of underground. Deep ground. Probably wrong. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually liking him in the game. Oh, God. Oh, run down reactor. Reactor? Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody, back in the car. Let's go, go, go! <laughs> there's car sick and then there's that. Couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. I get mad car sick. Hi, just 
just a wee drive from here. So it is. Shall we? Why not? Oh, Cloud, mind taking the wheel? Yes, please. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, blow it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can see Mako. Meow, let me out of the buggy. On a fight with Kate. Oh, offer new experiences. Yes, chuck my races. Oh, oh. Damn, honestly, so I wish this game would never end. For me, it's never going to. I've been playing this for probably eight months. Can you pick things up? Oh, you can. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> the buggy is sick! Alright, can I run shit over? Or do we jump out of the car into combat? No, okay. Just drive past. Woohoo! Alright. I definitely want to go hit hits me up some of those chunky races. Oh, oh, what the Okay, nice. Cactrot! Why are they calling it Cactrot? I don't like that. Oh shit. Oh, gave me the old one too. Cloud's gone! Oh, I've got to get Kate's hit with my pie. Come on. Oh, I can't get him for love more money. Thought I'd be able to roll it. I was not. Do. What are these wormies weak to? I don't have cloud for a sets. <laughs> I'm worried about that, I'm at 87%. Right, so you're past the point. I don't know. No spoilers, guys. But yesterday, me and Ginge, we were just chilling, we were doing a bit of work. And Brianna, the noises I heard coming out of the room. I've got a recording, actually. She was screaming, she was yelling, she was swearing, she was dropping the C-bomb left and right. I think some of the uh, bosses are starting to really wreck her. And Brie is different to me. I love a good wiping. Love it. I thrive on it. Brie despises dying. <laughs> More than two and she rages. But, more excitingly than that, she was in floods of tears. And all I could hear, hear was, I can't believe it. Oh my God, what the fuck? And I popped my head in. And she was like, they did it. Square Enix did it. Holy shit, Square just outdid themselves. What they have just done is one of the best things. I think one of my favorite things in video games, full stop. I was like, what, ever? She's like, ever. So I don't know what she's experiencing up there at the 70% mark, but it is eliciting some freaking strong reactions. So I'm, uh, I'm hype as hell. All right, Yuffie's got something to learn. Oh, yeah. Rick Bastard, he's making phones. First of all, roll a one, three, or six. And what we got? Uh, fortune telling. Oh god, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Magic defense. No. I'll stick one of those on. And you can have Kupo Charm. Amount of materials collected, increase my HP. Oh no. You see the time. You see the time. Moogle Sentinel. Juice is damage uh, by Moogle by 15%. Dealt by Moogle. Okay. Uh, that seems pretty good. Moogle Vanguard. Damage dealt. I want to give. I want to give Kate a, a summon. Rubber. I used to get Major Gamer Rage. I mean. I love a wipe. It's going to take at least 10 wipes 
until I fully start raging. I mean, that's not fully true, but this is one of the most unique <laughs> gaming experiences I've ever had. Hello, JJ. Huh? It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It's really cozy. I've just got. A... I'm just watching the F1, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, you're it's watching safe. the F1, bro. Casey have just joined my party. Look at. Can I go down the down the line? Look at the polygon density detail on his fur. Yeah, Nine hundred and eighty thousand polygons of juice. It looks really good on that screen as well, actually. Yeah, the screen's all right, isn't it? OGK only had about 900, I think it was 900 polygons. No, it's 900,000. 900,000. 900,000. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, people. Yeah, here's another little random detail for you. For This was how revolutionary 7 was at the time. Mm. Basically, it was going to be on uh, the Nintendo. Yeah. And then they cancelled it. I think it's because Chrono Trigger was being made. Or Parasite Eve or something. I don't know. And they delayed it, and they basically they tried to bring over some of the like models, the base models, onto the PS1, and they instantly realised it was fucked because I think uh, just a behemoth it was just a behemoth that they did in PS1. Basically, would have taken like six Nintendo cartridges, yeah, just to render that bitch. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have a Nintendo 64. Did you not? You never had a Nintendo 64. No. Making people present, I was a PlayStation. How many of you had an N64? Those, those my, all my friends at the time. Were I bet we've got some old boomers. boomers in here. They had what, what came before? Was it Dreamcast or what, what was it? Dreamcast was after Nintendo. Is that after? Yeah. What was the one before? Uh, who's, who's really old as fuck and remembers what was before? Was it the Super Nintendo that was before the N64? Nah, I can't remember what it was called. So what was your first ever console, Jinji? PlayStation, the original one. PS1? Yeah. The big grey block. Did you have to beg your parents for it? I mean, do you remember the day you got it? Yeah. Take, take us back to that moment, Jinji. Well, which birthday was it? Was it mine? Sixth or seventh birthday, maybe? Yeah. And I spent the entire day playing the demo disc. For Crash Bandicoot and playing two demo, demo discs, right? That, <laughs> that's how it was. Two demo on it. That's how it was Sweet, back yeah. in the day. It was great. Yeah, man. I play. I play demo discs. So sometimes I play them at least like thirty times over. I think I played the Frogger demo mm -hmm. disc. <laughs> it's only like two levels and just fucking... snares. That was it. Oh yeah, the old snares, obviously. Well, no, 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 no. Before that, before that. Not Super Nintendo, before that. Mega Drive. Same Mega strip. Drive. Was that Nintendo as well, Mega Drive? Sega, that was Sega. That was Sega? Sega Mega Drive. Right, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Still doesn't sound right in my head, but... What am I trying to do? Oh yeah, I'm trying to get to folios. How do I get to... Oh no, you've got, to... you've got to go to the actual booths for folios. Oh, I actually need to put Kate in my pie. Let's go, Kate's here. Huh? What food do you fancy? Oh, something delicious me, and only a fraction nutritious. More delicious than nutritious, please. Loaded fries? <laughs> Loaded fries. Right. So many devs were on the mushies earlier, was it? That's fine back then. Huh? Charles Rain is saying so, so many devs were on the mushies 100% of the time back then. Do you think? I mean, it was, it, was it was Japan, man. They late to the drugs game. I mean, they're still in there now. Which is why I can always tell, you can always tell when you get developers come to the West from Japan, I can tell clear as day they are baked. They are high because they're able to get weed for the first time. Mm. <laughs> it was especially with Final Fantasy 15. I remember they had some sort of like pre-launch party. They had one of the devs. <laughs> Dude, it was stoked. I could see the green fumes just lifting off of him. <laughs> Peasant, are you in South Korea now? No, nah, I'm still in Bali. I've got uh, Australia and New Zealand before I go to South Korea. Mm. 
Yeah, go enjoy your Formula I'm One and have a bunch of food, mate. Proto relics. Please be a full Condor Proto relic. Please. Uh -oh. oh. Sandstorm must have kicked up or something. Transmission go through? Yeah. Well, uh, even this, even freaking coral desert feels rich. I like this. Yay! Unlocking loads of things to do. <laughs> Does Pet still not know that he can cycle between three parties in game? Oh yeah, no, I know you can. Uh, you can have loadouts. I'm just not using them. But when you say cycle between. You mean just quick switch when you're out of combat? You can't do it in combat. You can't. That would be huge. Please tell me that's not the case. It's all about just quick party loadouts. It's not that big a deal, really. I'll head up to this. <laughs> in case this is a Fort Condor board. Have you all hit the like button, you little rapscallions? If you don't, Kate Sith's gonna come and poke this you in the rectum. <laughs> yes, thank you, Chadley. Oh, Gilgi, is it Gilgi stuff? Or... No, it's big. Whoa, what the? Oh, it is Gilgi. Sand Gilgi. What the? What is this thing? No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed? Holy nips. That I may collect what is by rights. They've gone hard on Gilgamesh in this. Is yours? Proto, what now? This is so Relic, dope. You say ah, a ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure. What, what actually is the Proto? I don't even know. Other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal. Again. Again. Oh. Usually, Gilgi wants weapons, right? Oh, let us fight. Let us fight giants and Gilgi. What a crazy interaction just to have randomly on the map. So what was that? I'll tell you what that was, Yuffie. I'll tell you what that was. That was a victory of open world. That was a victorious moment that stamps what it is that makes open worlds good. That makes me then want to explore every crevice, every crease of this world map, because there's a reason to, because there's quality, there's substance. <laughs> you know, I, I do not mind collecting the occasional turnip or helping Farmer Ted with his wasps if it's mixed in with moments like that. Damn, giving open world a purpose, that's all it takes. How have so many developers and games fallen on their fucking sword because they didn't understand that basic, basic point? Open world without a purpose doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> Loved it. Oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you all right? I'm fine. But what the hell was that <clears throat> just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. So obviously I think, on a story level, Gilgi being here means a lot. Something must be happening with the, you know, usually A worlds and B worlds. This is what Inner Crow explained to us in uh, World of Final Fantasy. They're usually separated by strong dimensional membranes and whatnot. 
And when they weaken, or they can be actively weakened, and in Necro's case she did it to uh, summon over heroes. That's how dimensionality hopping can take place. So Gildi being here, there's a strong suggestion that something is amiss. Really something dimensionally is amiss. I really want one of these, but... What do you want, Gingy? But the Samsung is not quite right, so it's really going to be a massive killer for Bree, isn't it? This is one thing I'm not doing, all of these photos. Right, what's Ginge look? Oh, Ginge, you dirty, dirty boy. Pilot the Ava, Gingy. Look at this boy. I know. Just a quick yay or nay to this. Ginge has handed me the phone. I haven't had one of these in a long time. Would you just type yes or no, guys? Would you or would you not? Kebab? Doesn't look very good on that on the screen. Cheeky though. little kebabs. Doesn't look good on there. I don't know, ma'am. It looks good in real life, though. It's what always so hit and miss. So it's like, you know when you get those big kebab things? If it's still big and it's being shaved no, new and fresh. Yum yum. But you know when it gets to that little emaciated middle bit? Mm. Uh, uh. You know I haven't had one in a long time, so if Brie is willing to... Yeah, there's no coffee on there, that's the only thing. She's willing to sabotage her anus? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Right. yes. Oh god. You guys are filthy animals as well. Oh yes. Oh. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, for me to get platinum on this game, guys, do I need to go and do all these photo shoots? Because I've done none of them so far. So, like, right now. Right, main menu. So what, what do I do? How do I go into photo, how do I go into photo mode? Like this. Right, okay. I really, I, I never take photos. <laughs> Photo mode is totally lost on me. Right, so I just take any old fucking snap. Alright, now what? Angle. Alright. Right, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's it. I'm really good at pictures. Oh shit, there's a lot here actually. Oh! Oh, actually, this is actually really cool. It's a horrible. I was trying to make it horrible, but. I mean, it still is horrible. <laughs> Alright. How do I now snap? Snap. Ah. Oh. Did I do it? Complete. Okay, sweet. Can confirm and feel filthy. Katarina's filthy. Josh Ware, dirty little filth burger. <laughs> For platinum, whatever question, yes. You have to do everything, even throw our wops. Gold source of parking garage. Right. Can I call? Can I summon the buggy? You can. You can call the buggy. Okay, yeah, that makes that makes sense. Yeah, you're irrelevant now, Chocobo. I don't need you anymore. Run it over. Run over, look, baby Chokey. Run him over. Oh, oh, he got saved by mobs. Oh, right, here we go. What? Okay, Sith, be me. Kate Sith with the megaphone and his trusty Mughal mount to ride or summon his Mughal. Let's ride. Uh, which will unlock more of Kate Sith's ATB commands. As the move will attack, so you can play with just Kate for a bit. Ah! Oh, as the move will attack, this meter will steadily fill. You may activate move abilities like the final defense. Wow. While inside the move, attack alongside your fussy power, dismount, remount. Oh. 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 Oh, he's hit. Oh, he sends out little mega fun guys. Cool, very cool. Let's get some ATB. Game over, pal. Game over, pal. 
Oh, that. Oh, Case is a little ninja. <laughs> this is the worst fight to start, Case. These sand dudes are so annoying. Right. What have we got? We've got a little bravery. Roll of the dice. Depending on what number of things. There we go. I rolled a three. What does that do? Fucks them up, that's what it does. Kate Sith is all you need. Alright guys, I've decided. Kate Sith solo run. How can I disable the other characters? Oh, scratchy eyes out! You're gonna love this one! Oh, you can just toot around. Uh, oh look at look how good that is for getting these little stormy buggers. You just Fucking rip that megaphone bong at the floor. Right. Fortune tell. Big or da small damage. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. How are you getting it done? Dude. This is so cool. Uh, I'm gonna roll the dice now. Well, um, here we go. Who are we gonna roll? Oh, you can push the dice! <laughs> so flush that little sand quick out. <laughs> so cool. Right, got him. No one. Dodge and dive. Right. Wow, then use the Moogle to counter. Anyway, let me quickly pop the Moogle out. Didn't get time. I need a... I need a meteor opponent to do all the cakes of goodness with. What's the initial report on uh, eating bum rodents? She's saying yes to a dirty, dirty kebab. Nah, I'm up for it if you are. It's just... I thought you were more refined than that, Bree. Come on, run over Baby Chokey. Run him over. Ah. <laughs> He's dead. We leveled him. <laughs> Can I... Can I pick this up from uh, from inside the cart? No, you can't. Get out of this side, Cloud. No, I'm beside you, idiot. No, buggy. <laughs> Where you go? Come on, Cloud. You can chop buildings in half, but you ain't got the strength for. Come on, come on, lad. Cloud, what are you doing, man? Right, there we go. Oh, that was Cloud, though, wasn't he? Somehow Chokey survived. You need garlic sauce and mango sauce. Mango sauce? Mango Yeah? I did discover something quite delicious yesterday. Dipping your pizza, your delicious barbecue pizza, in gravy. Has anyone has anyone experienced this before? Pizza in gravy. It was delicious, and this gravy was like, yeah, it was mid-tier gravy. Imagine pizza dipped in some kind of that good KFC crack gravy that they make. Oh, oh. Now we're talking. Right, what the hell is? This peculiar spot. The signal is growing stronger. Perhaps there is a proto relic in the nearby reactor. Something derpy is about to happen. It's been altered, though it doesn't appear these modifications were made by Shinra. Whoever's responsible may be waiting within. Proceed with caution. Okay. We doing it? 
I already picked mine. Alright. I've got Kate's here. Hooray! Hooray! And I just had a giant sand Gilgamesh show up. Oh yeah. I love Gilgamesh in this. this they've gone so hard on him. I heard people are not a fan of the way he is in this. Really? That's what I've heard. Straight up. That's weird. Just people I personally know, and I'm like, actually, I'm having fun with. So I was telling everyone on stream about your, um, your fucking journey yesterday. I did have a journey. You laughed. You screamed. You cried. You dropped the c word about ten times at least. <laughs> and about your uh, complete hatred of dying. I'm really bad with it. I wasn't always like this. I think I've gotten worse with age. Yeah. Where it's like, I think once you get to a certain level where you're like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm yeah, better than this. It, no, it's, yeah, it's kind of just like, it makes me like, I could definitely fucking do this. I've done harder things. Why am I struggling? Yeah. It just makes me angry. And it's, it's not even struggling. It's just dying a couple of times and I get that angry. It's kind of ridiculous. It's I wish very it, ridiculous. I wish it didn't happen, but it does. I'm like, no, I'm the fucking best. I can't die. I can't even die once. Yeah. No, no deaths we, in this entire place. One of the first games me and Bree ever tried to play when we met in America. Um, we tried to play a, a nice, gentle, known for being an enjoyable, easygoing experience, uh, Lopum Cuphead. <laughs> I can tell you now, she played like three rounds of Cuphead. That's when I saw your true colours. Yeah. Honestly, I'm I used saw, to oh, playing... Oh, shit. This, I'm used to playing Cuphead with This girl's got some ghetto side to her. So my brother's really good at video games, and I, I think it does something to me. Like, he never dies. So I feel like I have to be on that level as well. So, so basically, if you fail, you're failing as a sibling. You're failing. I just, I feel like deep I need childhood trauma level. Not even a trauma level. It's just more of like the competition. Yeah. I need to be just as good as him. I've picked my nasty rotten kebab. If I don't show up for stream tomorrow, guys, it's because I've been poisoned. All right, best poison me. I've gotten more impatient with age. Yeah, I think that that's more patient in some ways but Steve's in other ways it's just blocks the way inside no more patience fortress, if you will. got a leader cactua through the hole i don't think we can get inside huh. cactua stronghold <laughs> what the hell is this Commencing scan. we're going to the source of cactua shenanigans Cuphead's intense. <laughs> Cuphead is very intense. Yeah. You have to be okay with dying. <laughs> Bree gets performance anxiety. I do. You know what's weird? I'm fine with souls. You know the kind of cats were... Yeah, okay, Chadley. A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. Ah, oh, he's gonna make me go look for rocks. The rock we seek should be marked by... Chadley's actually making me go kick rocks. Dumb. Do you happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? Just survey the land for me, you prick. Oh. That's it. That statue should guide you to the rock I spoke of, hmm. which in turn will serve as the key to the door. So yeah, Bree was supposed to play this dramatic so we must seven rebirth episode worthy. here on stream I so you guys you can throw your money at her. She did not. She played it in a calm, authentic, pleasant manner by herself, where she fully enjoyed it. Yeah. Selfish! I'm sorry, I'd rather... It, this game's too important to me. The more I think about it, the more... You've got, to, you've got to give. This game is too important to me to ruin what would be a really enjoyable... Like, being immersed, being able to cry, feeling, like, fully present with the game. You it's are amazing. hopping on stream sometime. Just <gasps> look. Or Sam Razzy, Ray Eros, Candor, Charles Rayner, their wallets are just just rimming with cash, waiting to I throw can, it in the room. I can do it for something unimportant, but I'm not going to ruin any important scenes for myself. <laughs> just saying. Just fat bags of cash that they're waiting to unload on you because you're a girl and you don't have a face that looks like this. <laughs> Bobbler. I need to take this off, I'm getting hot. Can you hold my top down so my... 
Your belly don't come out? Uh, my, my nips don't slip. Oh, I thought you were worried about the belly. Yeah. Wait. Oh, headphones have disappeared. I look like a mandragora. Has she finished the game? No, but I'm getting close. Has she finished the game? No, she's at, she's at 77%. Am I? Yeah. You know that. That's what it says. Yeah. The opening. Yeah, good luck to you when you finished and uh, the What depression. about a side quest stream? Yeah, I could do a side quest stream. I don't mind that. Yeah, so you can... Just nothing important. You can riffle your... Uh, people just like to hear other fans' opinions. Insights. I do that. But I'm curious. No spoilers for the future, guys. Just up to this section, Dean's death. Think back. What is your favourite scene or moment up to this part? Anything before, before this part? Well, that's hard. Both of Barrett's imitations have been hilarious. He just mimicked Kate Sith a he's, second ago. He is very good. He's, he's, he's on one. I've already done this tower. Shit face. One of my favourite scenes is, is probably Cloud... Cloud shocked me whenever he went and apologized to Tifa. That was very nice. That was a great scene. I did like the mid Gazolem section, and I particularly was hyped when uh, I did like the Eleanor Rude fight. The music on that was so good. I'm trying to slap in. Think. I felt so pump on that. It's all melding together now, so I'm trying to think is. of what was before this. You were wearing two letters, good, because we got the aircon blasting. I think it's been blasting on my neck. My neck hurts. Give us a massage, my sweet. My sweet. Sweet. Eh? Sweetie. Yes, thank you. It's going to be weak. Ah, uh, yeah. My arms hurt. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know much about Glenn, but I've, I've got to say, actually, Rufus. I've really enjoyed Rufus, every moment that he's about. Uh, I like... And that was such a power response when Glenn... I told him my Glenova theory. You saying... Uh, Sephiroth, it's not his MO to disguise as someone else in someone else's form. Isn't that my theory then? Yeah, yeah, I just said that. <laughs> you said my. No. I told you my theory is what you said. You mean your theory. No, I said my idea of Glenova and then your one that just... <laughs> just credit! Give me credit! <laughs> yeah, no, you said... Because yeah. I weren't sure if it was Sephiroth, Glenn. But then you were like, yeah, Sephiroth wouldn't disguise himself as someone else. He's too fabulous to pretend He's too to be fabulous. Cool. Alright, I've got a I've got a chunky opponent now. I can get some proper case here uh schlank. Oh, the way you go on this tower, you gotta to climb and uh oh, swim yeah. across, that's cool. No, it's not. See by this point I was just like get me. Get me on it, get me out of here. Kitty wallop. Kitty wallop. Oh, what's, what's he got? Magic megaphone? Oh. Is that a charge? Attack? No. Oh, it's just a small throw. Okay. All out of soot. Okay. Yeah, I'm finally getting wrecked at the moment. You need to get your Moogle out. Let's roll the dice. <laughs> you can actually push your dice as well. Ah! Ah! I've got a one. Jesus Christ. Alright. Roll the dice. Get red. Case it's dying. Oh, these guys are. They're being a bit much, mate. Wow, some of those rolls heal you as well. That's cool. Here we go, roll the dice. You had dice him down. Save me, oh mighty dice. Expansive shield. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's cool. Just keep dicing. I want to see all the dice options. What have we got? Total outrage. Oh, oh, he's got. Is that Berserk? I haven't tried out the movie yet. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Wait, why do I keep this mount? 
the circle dismounts you. So, how do you just block? Shit. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of fighting with Kate so I'm, gonna take that out. I'm not the biggest fan of fighting with Kate Just because I find it difficult for him to work with. Yeah. I mean, like find a good that's how he was in OG as well, right? Yeah. I need a team that works well together. I don't know, did anyone run? Tifa Yuffie is great. Oh, Tifa Yuffie slaps. It slaps. Like, so they can stagger people so fast and then get yeah. stagger up, and it's just like. I'm Tifa Yuffie is definitely. A slapping cheeks so hard. Hard. With the two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, did anyone work Kate Sith into their main team? I'd be shocked. I'll do it. Wherever the final bosses are, the ones that have had you screaming. I'm gonna make my team. Uh... That's not happening. If I could, I would legitimately disable two characters and just solo run Kate Sith the whole playthrough. I mean, it, he's <laughs> fun. He's fun to use, but I think for a team, it's just not. Is there a way to disable characters by any chance? It? Just like disable them. There's so much. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try so many little quirky challenges after I finish hard mode as well. Just. Something derpy. Some some derpy kind of runs. Like, and if you could just solo run the whole game with one character. Mm. Tifa and Red could be awesome too, yes, definitely. I mean, Red's the best if you uh, are actually skilled at blocking. Yeah. Once you get his vengeance mode built. I think I'd like to have uh, Yuffie in instead of Red though, just because I like that. The way that she can use the um, what's it called, uh, her her ninjutsu. Yeah. Or is it? Yeah. The thing is, if you run T for you for too much, you are very class cannon, and some things are gonna slap you butt for that. Not necessarily. My teeth was pretty solid. You've so been putting HP feet. up material on them. No, just good armor. Yeah. Good armor. See, that's the other thing. I, I feel like I'm che once I feel like get, I'm cheating once, using armor. Once they get up there and. Shut up. Once they get up there and level, everybody's pretty solid. I think the only person that I have that's still squishy is Aerith. Aerith's still very squishy for me. Yeah. Even at high levels, she's just like really. I finally squish. learned how to properly use her though. Once you get your uh, Radiant Ward and your Arcane Ward and Illustrious Shield down, you can just stand there and just. Yeah. Keep those eyes like, go cute. hard. Yeah. But a jungle, that's what. A jungle? Oh, yes, this place. Well, what was at the end of this jungle? You know this random little jungle that existed in the coral region? And you just like, kind of became a side scroller. You went through the jungle. And there was a material waiting at the end of it. That little ancient forest. Was it called the ancient? I can't remember what the name of the forest was. Oh yeah, 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 right near Cosmic. Yeah, Canyon. it was just a random little with frogs in it. Frogs. And... I can't remember the material. That 20, 22 peasant points for whoever remembers what material was at the end of that jungle. Was it a summon? I don't think it was it. No, nah, I think it was just a piece of summon summon. Oh, is that is that the jungle? Can I just swim towards it? I can go swimming with hairy women. Oh, there's a little. Oh, there's a dog down there. A dog? Dog. Oh. oh man. What part are you at right now? Are you going to the next area? No, I'm. I'm. I'm having a having a mosey. Oh, you're little Mozambique around. Do some of these side stuff. I have just found though to platinum. I have to do the photo ops, which makes me sad. I don't think you you never actually try to plat things. I think you, you say you to, will at the beginning and then you're just like fuck. I that. am platting this game. That is a verifiable fan. You didn't plat remake though. So you no. gotta plat that first. I, I almost platted it, more or less. I platted sixteen. More or less don't count, baby. You didn't plat sixteen. I what didn't I do? You didn't plat sixteen. Oh, I platted sixteen. Oh, you fucking did it. Oh, gaga. Oh, gaga. 
Oh, Gaga's just passed these shallows. Wait, is that is that true to the, Gaga. to the world map? Is that where Go Gaga? Yeah. Is situated? Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't you remember? Wait, so that's Gongaga you, you, over there. Yeah, you pass Gongaga before you go to Cosmos mm. Canyon, remember? Because I've seen it in the trailers, I know who's waiting on the other side of those shallows. I can't believe I got spoiled on that. I know who's waiting! Yeah, I wish I wish they did. I put, intentionally I didn't wish that they trailer. did not put that in the trailers. I straight I up excited actually, at all. I'm actually fucking fuming now that I sit and think about yeah. it. Because if I had no idea right now, I know for a fact you I'd be saying that. I'd also be going, oh, we're going to Gongaga. Oh, you know who I really want to be here, who I've always said would be amazing that they went there okay. after. Me? You, Gaga. yeah. Bree, a little derpy NPC with cross eyes. Cross eyes? Oh, oh tell, uh, tell them about your dream you had the other day. Rhi is such a froggy human person, not only is her hair green, but she had a premonition. She went into the quantum realm in her dreams and discovered she actually has a fate to the planet. Yeah, so essentially I did something, I ended up getting chased by police into the forest. I Police chased you, so you yeah. don't know what the thing was. You were just being chased. No, I, I remember, but it's not important. Okay. So I did something illegal, got chased into the forest. I went. I woke up from the dream. I went back to sleep, and I went back into the same dream. I'm still in the forest, but That's the police cool. are far away. And then I stumble across this like, like, like opening in the forest, but it's like. There's a frog there. It's this big, big frog with a big belly, and he's got his hand on his belly. He says, So, I see you have awakened, my child. <laughs> <laughs> and then, essentially, he's, he's talking to me about, like, like taming my powers now that I've awakened. So, so I went inside this, uh, the, this, this cavern, and then there's a bunch of frogs in there, and they're, they're like, channeling their powers and, like, having spirit beams go out of their hands and shit. It, and there were all frogs, and I was the only human. He was but, like, oh. but you were the uh, you were the frog incarnate that they'd been long foretold was coming. Essentially. Or maybe they were all once human. They were just training to be frogs. You, it's, it's, it's funny the way she told me, because she's kind of sleepy. Told the morning, she's like, yeah, they will they will do martial arts and firing little frog, little spirit beams. Oh, that was a cool dream. Yeah, the fact that you went back into the dream That's tells weird. me it's more than just a dream. It's rare that that happens. I've only gone back into a dream like a couple times. What if you? What if tomorrow or tonight you now go back there, and the fog lord's like, ah, I see, you have already begun to doubt your path and your purpose. <laughs> You believe this is all a dream, but I can assure you, my child, it is not. You must. And it gives you some sort of quest you got to go on IRL. How many times would that have to happen before you like, actually, fuck? Just one more. <laughs> <laughs> just, just one more. Yeah. And you're gonna straight up believe you are. Yeah. You're the uh, the last frog avatar. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I love frogs. But honestly, I think Katarina's asking why frogs, I wonder. I think it's because every night we were falling asleep to like very loud frog Yeah, there was a big frog pond. Um, and they started, they, really, they started dropping like hard beats. <laughs> they started getting a melody. Uh, you could. Uh... I love frogs. I love frogs. I love them so much. So cute. Bree said she categorically would not eat their legs. No. It doesn't seem like it would taste good either.
Yeah, what if you did try frog's legs and you go back into the frog spirit world and there's one there with no legs? Oh my god. What have you done to me? I can't say that. Or gets like really like Dean Frog. <laughs> Let me breathe! <laughs> Look what I've become! <laughs> Still calling him Dean, eh? Still hung up on Dean, big time. Dine, so many. Dine, dine. Oh, you talk about the words. So. Yeah. No, I, I'm never changing. Dine, 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 da 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 you know, a bit of barrage. Oh, don't make me go back and talk to more old people. Don't make me do it. Go on, go sell old people pills, Bree. That's all I've gotten today. No Bree, other calls. Bree keeps getting uh, driving me crazy. Harassed on a call by a uh, a Jewish man, a New who, Yorker, who a Jewish New Yorker with a thick accent who believes that he can't be racist because his cousin has a black kid. Listen, sweetheart. I got a cousin who's German. Black kid. Listen, sweetheart. I got a cousin who's German. I got a nephew who's a black. I've got... That's what he said. Uh, which is... You know it's off to a great start when you say a black. Yeah, I'm like... Hmm. You're really calling your nephew that? That's not racist. My, my cousin's a black. Yeah, no, and then he said... <laughs> and he said... And my, my other sister, she married a Spaniard. I'm just like, why are oh, you saying God, this to that me? That accent makes me... It's terrible. Uh, <laughs> and he just Sorry walked. to any New Yorkers out there. I've been getting calls from If him you're a New Yorker, day. go to go to accent school and change it. Please. I'm really... For the sake of humanity. I'm really sick of hearing his voice in my ear. I've gotten like four or five calls from him today. It's just driving me up a wall. Oh, no. Oh. Has the stream been crashed? No. Oh, no, no, it says back. Oh, we back. Oh, okay. Totally didn't notice. Are we good, guys? Are we stuttering? Uh, let, let us know. Oh, wait. Aren't these the cactus shaped plants I'm supposed to? Oh, they're just cactuses. <laughs> you know what else he always says that you'll find funny? He always says, if you if you can prove to me that this is good and it's with God, I'll give you my house. I'll give you my house. I'll give you everything. So who do I gotta talk to to give you my house? I'm like, dude, you need help. Yeah, I uh, I had a jolly good time uh, the other day. I got a call from uh, O2. They call up, oh sir, we're gonna give you thick Indian accent. We're going to give you a 30% discount. Now, as Brie will attest, whenever I get these kind of oh calls, I light up inside. He jumps up off of... Oh, yeah. oh. He gets up off the ground. And we, we were balls deep in him. Evangelion. Ginge, is, he's at the, like, shit hitting the fan point of Evangelion, and we pause it. So I've got a scammer to have fun with. So, uh... Yeah, he, he tries to get me my, e uh, get my email. I, I play the little game of... Well, if you know my email, you've got to tell me. I get them a bit riled up. This is phase one. You go back and forth about the email. Is it the correct email? Is it the wrong email? You keep them going with that. Then they obviously try to get you to give them the, the code. This is when I then put on the story. So, uh, you know, he says he's going to upgrade me to 5G. That's when I kick up a real stink <laughs> about 5G. About this. Oh, no, 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 no. I had a beautiful oak forest outside of my house and they've cut it down for 5G towers. I get really impassionate with it. I start making up a story about um, I've got to go off to go green rally. I start asking them if they care about the trees. Um, no, they're getting more and more wound up at this point. This is nice. This is part two of really winding them up. Um, but then you kind of go through with the email. You give them a fake one. They then up, you know, the first dude thinks he's got you. So he's the uh, opener. He then puts you on the phone to the closer. You then get the closer nice and worked up. 20 minutes have passed at this point. You really wind him up. No matter what, you don't give him the code. Because if you give him the code that O2 sends you, 
that's how they can get you and load you up with charges. So you just go back and forth. I'm not sure about this code. Are oh, looking at the numbers? I'm really superstitious. They look like bad numbers. Mm -hmm. At this point, the guy just starts swearing. He's just like, "I can give you 20 codes, 100 codes, sir. How many do you bloody need? How many bloody codes?" <laughs> and then when you get to phase four, that's when you want to get into the screaming stage, and it was very satisfying. Very satisfying because they caught me out in a lie because. Um, they asked to check my confirmation email and I tried to make it up on the spot. And he said, you're now lying, sir. You're now lying. And that's when you're just like, because you've got to reveal that you've been fucking around with them before they get off the phone. So then they just go. Oh, oh my headphones. Ah, Maze talking. That's when you just drop the persona. Oh, well, that makes two of them of us then, doesn't it? You cheeky boy. You've been telling little f lies too, haven't you? You naughty, we're a pair of naughty boys. A couple of little naughty sausages. Aren't we naughty? And that's when they get really pissed. He was like, you die, you bitch, you fuck. Like you're the worst kind of person. I hope you die. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> All because I lied. It, this, that's what's hilarious about the scammers. They get angry at you because you lied. That makes you a bad person. Because you deceived them. Right, I've got a you deserve it because you're one of them, one of them Westerners. It was beautiful. There's 40 minutes. I, I held them up. <laughs> and I like to think that I've just made that scam caller a little bit more demotivated. A little bit more. I, I mean, hate you, this the job. The other one got so angry say, he or, had to pass the phone back to the first guy. Yeah, yeah. They pass pass you back and forth because they get so annoyed. Exactly. Or I like to think that I just saved someone else getting called that day. You probably <laughs> Of course you would fuck with them. Oh, in the most elaborate way possible. Next time I do it, I'll, I'll try to film it. <laughs> Alright, I need to... Don't get stunned. Okay. So it's just stagger an enemy. I don't know what their weaknesses are. But don't get stunned by the zap power. Come on. Nice. Nice, got more groups. Perfect. Oh. Yeah. Casey, three pounds. Don't get stunned, defeat all enemies. Clean. My phone just blocks overseas callers. Well, they actually were calling from the UK. Because they, they, they can route numbers. Using the data from your battles, I've devised a new trial for the They can be in India, and they'll just route, route numbers. I think you'll find it to be a most fascinating... Oh, no. Has it frozen again? Oh, my, my dudes. All right, well, this is frozen enough for me to say... Uh, we probably, probably not going to be able to run this this way with the small monitor, which is a a crying shame. But the stream has not ended. Yeah, I got it back. Ah, oh, sorry guys. It's uh, hopefully it's actually just because I'm using this monitor. Maybe it could be the internet. I am seeing uh, dropped frames getting alerted to me. Dropped frames detected. Fifty-four percent over the last two minutes. Area. So please do give it a try. E it's back. All right. So that's happened how many times this stream? Uh, th is it three? Either way, after this, I'm gonna try to play around. It's always the curse of moving to a new place. You. Uh, <laughs> The, the Wi-Fi here is strong. It had three tellies. Um, uh, you don't expect there to be any issues, but somehow there always is. 
Oh, there's a there's a cat cat twang. Oh. Don't overdo it. Yes. Play with LK. How do I mount up again? Oh, I've got to get some ATV to do it. That's right. So what do you do? You've got your attack. So you can throw megaphone attacks. Oh. Oh. And then the holding square is the attack. Drop kick. Oh, got it. <laughs> the Moogle is very confusing to me at the moment, how it works. Right. Let's go get this expedition. Is this the same expedition in cell? No, it can't be. Currently I'm just loping around with them aimlessly with no goal. You can't swim any, any far farther. Why the bloody hell can't I? Ooh! Oh, there's Navaland! Oh, fucking Navaland with his, uh... <sighs> it's not overly bad. The gameplay does look a bit choppy. Yeah, is it, is it chibbly, chibbly chopping? <clears throat> Might just have to drop bitrate a bit. I really don't want to. It's... Oh. Kind of suck. Kind of suck. Oy vey. Well, I don't want to do too much today. Um, back, bit Mr. rate is um, stream is unstable. Some poxy bird quest. What? Mommy said I'm not supposed to talk to you. Oh, is that so? Well then, why don't you talk to this old fella instead? He's tough, tougher than he looks, and real good at solving people's problems, right? Old fellow, why don't you talk to this old fella? <laughs> Someone's a softy. Hmm. For the right price. That will not help my relationship status with Barrett, but... I'm going with for the right price. You charging kids now? You can pick up their tab. Well, what's the problem? <laughs> we did take Marlene's tuition money after all. Are you able to get an Ethernet cable? That's a good point, actually. Should we quickly experiment with that? So far. Go. Oh, look. Maybe this will improve it. The last few times I've tried to Ethernet in, it usually creates a um, bit of interference between wireless and, and wired, and that makes it all. Yeah. How the fuck is. How did this go in? Well, it goes in that way, don't it? Bloody plonker. Right. Yeah, get in there. Yeah. Right. Is that in? Okay, yeah. It's, it's doing light blinky things. Right. Ah. Uh, this is blinking red. Does that mean it's working? I don't even know. All right, well, let me know anyway. But... <clears throat> Mr. Birdie is a bird friend of ours. We still get drop frames. His head is all pointy. Kind of like yours, mister. Pointy, huh? I bet they're talking about Cloud Jr. Return of Cloud Jr. Your yeah. Friend, he had a run in with a nasty fiend, and we saved his tiny behind. No way. You guys. That kid that looks so Ready creepy. What? But we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Great. Grandpa said... Yeah, I mean... They always say parents will always find their children beautiful no matter what, but... 
let's be real. If you, if your kid ends up looking like that kid in the There's back. There's old birdhouses out in the desert that people built back in the Republic days. He said those are good places to set traps. Oh, How many parents we've got in the house? You can crack them yourself if you've got the right chip. I know this is terrible. But how many parents are here in the stream practice. right now? And are your kids in beautiful in your eyes, but you can admit they're actually kind of ugly? I heard about your plight. If you wish to learn more about the Republic of Junon, I recommend visiting Life Springs. The knowledge they contain will reveal the location of transmitter chips. <laughs> Alright then. Let's go uh, find our bird, buddy. He'll definitely be happy to see you. At least look at this. Look at this kid. I understand there's no making amends for how I did look this at him. wrong, but I want to help. I need to help. Boom, boom, boom. What happened with the reactor wasn't your fault, you know. Well, Maybe he's just the hacker. No, I ain't the one who proposed building the damn thing. That was Shinra. Just hitched my wagon to it. Right. Yes, Barrett. That's so the way to look at it. That, though. Hell. I did everything in my power to avoid thinking about it at all. That's Eventually, I realized the excuses I was clinging to weren't making me feel any better. What happened in Corral? That's my burden to bear. <laughs> Just don't go breaking your back. Yeah, well, it's stronger than you think. I won't pretend it's all for the kids. End of the day, I'm doing this for me. Well, that's a very forthcoming dialogue. <laughs> mm -hmm. A parent should be honest. Don't give your kids false hope. <laughs> what? It's like, son, I love you and I will accept you uh, for whatever you do and for all of who you are. But, kid, I'm just letting you know now you ugly. You fucking ugly, kid. <laughs> so, I have news regarding the combat simulator. You are hot on the eyes, my boy. I was able to devise a new challenge for you. I kindly invite you to give it a try. Right. Need actually put that HP absorption material on. Go on, give us a summon, Chadley, you little scrotum. Go on, I know he's not going to, but go on. Ah, oh, man. When's the next one? When's the next one? A bit of combat. I ain't doing the combat training. I'll do it another time. I look forward to seeing We have a rough ass game of Where the hell's Where's Nat Nat Nathal Nathal Nat Nathan All the way up there, son of a bitch. Yeah, this way. Oh, I've not been down here. Huh? Well, maybe I have. Maybe I have. Oh, it's a, it's a different little path. Cool. Alright. Whoa! Oh, that's you. Well, that's not that impressive in this universe. He's just he's just using wind material. Oh hell! We're about to make Queen's blood with the dirty old Himmy. Let's go. So. You have begun to fulfill your potential. Long have I awaited this day. <laughs> At ease, young soldier. I took your measure the moment you set foot in this town. Hard not to, given your presence. I am Navalon of the Thousand Is the uh, stream Days still starting, guys? have granted me sight beyond sight. It is this clarity which shows me all. Even that which some wish to keep hidden. This guy's a poser, you man. You a powerful yet troubled aura. Indeed. It makes you the perfect opponent. I'm gonna slap you silly, oh, Nathaland. And don't you dare hold anything back. <laughs> Alright, dude. You're laying it on a bit thick. Alright, this will be my 15th out of 15 opponents. Woo! I hate seeing old people. Oh, I hate seeing the ribs of old people, like just E. Yeah, I mean, being that I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a little fatty goblin, um, you know, being too skinny or dealing with being underweight as an issue is just, 
it's, it's ludicrous to me, man. There's so many bloody delicious things in the universe. How is it an issue? Get a tub of Ben and Jerry's down. Ben and Jerry's too hard for you. <laughs> yeah, he was giving off white now sim vibes. <laughs> All right, so this is my Destructo deck, guys. Don't come in judging me with Queen's blood. Don't be writing salty comments down below. Oh my God, Pez, you're so bad at Queen's blood. You're so diabolically bad. I'm experimenting, okay? I'm having fun. The most comments I get at the bottom of my streams are fucking Queen's blood roasts. Either because I said, ah, oh, this, this, this strat, like, you know, the backwards cars. I was like, oh, fuck this. And I'm like, dude, why are you yelling about the backwards strat? It's actually really good. Why are you being mean to it? Why are you being mean to Queen's blood? Dude. Time for 100 misplays by pairs. I, yes, I, but I'd never make a misplay, all right? It's just, the cards are sometimes unlucky. Y'all really trigger me, all, all of you, making horrible, mean, nasty Queen's Blood comments at me. I have feelings, too. Oh yeah, I've got this Joker card. I like, I'll just raise this card's power by one. Oh yeah, that's a little funny. A little yummy yummy. I got love in my tummy. Kind of would like to arch dragon deep into the... Uh... Mm, see, that's kind of... When played lower the uh, enemy's cards. See, I'd kind of like to destroy... Could obviously destroy Flame Trooper. Uh, mm. <laughs> um, I kind of want to push out. No, I'm just going to cactus while here. Cause I'm just going to destroy this. I'm just going to destroy it. I need things to kill. Right, maybe a little death claw here and then I can two Magoo my Joker at the top, then start destroying some of the, uh, with the uh, what does the jelly do? Ah, the jelly will also destroy onto that tile. So actually, if I put that in, would Flame Troop also destroy it? would destroy my copper wire as well, right? Oh. Oh, what about this? What what about this then? Hey, hey, maybe. Not yet, actually. Not yet. Got to wait patiently. I'm seeing a, a master plan unfold. Yeah, because he ain't gonna take the centre. Now I put old Flame Chan in. Oh no, I should have put Joker on the bottom because then I would have had two on the top and I could just fishy him because I'm going to want to destroy this guy. Oh shit. Okay, maybe that. Oh, screw him. I should have just played my officer there actually. I don't need to do that yet. If I get my death claws down, then I can start eating ass. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. Yeah, that's it. Boost my cards for me. Thank you. You silly, silly pickle. I can do another destroy, or I could just do another. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think he's gonna start destroying stuff, maybe. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. 
Boom, getting boosted, getting boosted. <laughs> I don't really have anything. <laughs> so I just destroy him out here. Bam, look at that. Getting pumped. Toxic rat. Alright, I can actually destroy my own arch dragon. Nice. I could also destroy my own cactuar. Hmm. How to play this? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Will I have two tiles on the center? Well, I could do that. Basically, I can make multiple destroys here. I can make a destroy on my cactuar. Then I can destroy with my Toxabat if I've got two tiles, I do. Yeah, this is all good, this is all good. Oh no. Oh god. That fool just tried to kill my... <laughs> oh, this is nice. I've got one, I've got one slot over here. Yeah, I do. Should I destroy my own arch chode? I kind of don't want to actually, I kind of don't want to blow up my own flame trooper. It's actually not that good of an idea. <laughs> Why are my death claws not getting in the pump? Alright, now oh, okay, he's taken the last tiles. I should have still won. Yeah, there's no way this fool can beat me. I'm a master of my universe. Come on, hurry up. Chop, chop. Yo guys, how many likes have we got on the stream? Oh man, I hate it when the NPC takes forever. Navalan, you're done, son. Give it up. You've been vanquished. He keeps laying ones and then they're getting permanently destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> That's powerful, actually. Those slots that just keep destroying. It's juicy stuff. Destruction, destruction deck. Six likes. Six! Come on, guys. Oh, oh my. That's the cutscene. My name is Ladrell Belmont. Ladrell Belmont. Okay, it's time to overanalyze that. Ladrell Belmont. Um, it's it's clearly a metaphor. Um, no, it's clearly a. Uh, 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 let's mix the words around. Lab labmon. It, it, it clearly, if you move the letters around, it, it turns into something different. Lidrell Balmon. Balmon. Bal Balmon. Castlevania. One of. One of part of the Belmont family. I'm the creator of the game, Queen. Okay, gone. And I am the creator. I'll stop being an idiot. Queen's blood. Yeah, yeah. Which means that this nightmare is of my own making. I think you've I just taken too many drugs, bro. I... Hear her? Is this Genova nonsense or She's not? Me, commanding me. There's no way Genova's using Queen's blood as some sort of part of the reunion. <laughs> made me her prisoner. Her cursed guard my shackle. The end is nigh. Her cursed card my shackle. This is only the beginning. 
the Shadow Blood Queen is. Is this a bit? Yes. You have dreamt the dream of the Drell Balmon too. What do you know about it? I I mean I didn't buy it. If this is <laughs> some really weird, bizarre, obscure way of uh, showing to us the, uh, the mimetic legacy. So this was a thing I did a really, uh, a whole extensive video on mimetics, the not so verified or proven branch of science where memes and genetics can memes pass the same way genetics do, the same way that DNA does uh, how powerful are memes can an idea take root and start spreading itself how do they propagate how do they pass from individual to individual uh, what are the markers associated with it what makes a meme to where somebody involuntarily passes it along and uh, that's essentially the baseline idea of memetics and of course that's what Genova is doing she's sewing in essentially cognitive qualities that pass through the world so if everyone is having this same dream yeah i mean it all points to genova shit chris angel <laughs> gives you chris angel vibes but basically that it's either a bit it's either a joke but i mean it does seem pretty serious i or this is just demonstrating the level of mimetic influence and i took that theory like a lot further memes yeah memes it comes from the greek word mimeme uh what was the greek word mimeme it meant something uh i even had the greek word mimeme which meant imitating yeah that was it very very simple just of course what genova does she can imitate right and i had the idea that not only genova could put a mimetic influence in the live stream but so too is sephiroth sewing one you definitely see him sewing amongst the fell clones but it could be much deeper and more powerful uh in this remake trilogy his mimetic like weave uh but then i also wondered if the hero because memes a part of like memes also the archetypes archetypical thinking archetypical personas and, and structures that also is a framework behind the, the the commonalities that we all share conceptually and one of those archetypes is the hero right and we know that that's passed through angel down to zach you know to be a hero you gotta have dreams and honor to be a soldier and what that means and what that looks like and why there's kids now walking around with buster swords? I know there's definitely a, probably a much more simple answer for that. You know, Bree thinks, oh, okay, was that passed through once before, you know, five years ago? So kids are still playing with buster swords now. There's the idea that buster swords are a more commonplace weapon, not just entirely unique to Angeal, because one of those soldiers said the, uh, the guy on the loose is armed with a buster sword, not the buster sword. It is a buster sword, a common type of weapon now. Um, or some people said, oh, Aerith has just spoken to the children and told stories of Zack. That's why they have a buster sword. I know, I much prefer it's deeper than that. You know, the first ever remake trailer we had, what was the opening shot, man? It was those kids in the playground. And then those little cardboard cutouts. I like the idea that the meme, the mimetic influence of the hero whilst Genova's sowing a corrupt one the hero is also the polarity of that this is being sown and spreading and being demonstrated through children but yeah uh meme is an ideal behavior spread by means of imitation from person to person that's what they called it a cultural unit acts as a unit for carrying cultural ideas symbols or practices symbol mean a buster sword um if this is what queen's blood is going for this is kind of cool but just <laughs> what a place to do it that can be transmitted from one mind to another through writing speech gestures rituals or other imit imitatable phenomena i mean, that's what queen's blood is it's part of you know, it, it, it's a game uh, that's being culturally spread around the world maybe that's what genova i mean would genova look at it like that you know that games are something 
that can essentially be a good vehicle to pass a meme through, to pass memetics through. People play games. Once they once they start getting traction, they start getting widespread tournaments set up around them. People from all different parts of the world, regardless of race, color, or creed, start playing it. Did Genova actually look at something as harmless as a as a board game and found it could be an effective way to pass through cultural units? You've got me thinking about it now, Square. I swear to God, if this is a bit, you've, and you made me look like an idiot, I'd be very angry. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole uh, meme spread through the behavior that they generate in the host. Memes that propagate less prolifically may become extinct while others survive, spread, and for better or worse, mutate. You know, this is all in Genova con context. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Memes that replicate the most effectively enjoy more success, and some may re replicate effectively even when they prove to be detrimental to the welfare of their hosts. I detrimental to the welfare of their hosts. Exactly what's going on here. People are getting fucked up in the head from participating in this game. Other people have had this, like this guy, and other people have had this vision of this Belmont guy, yet they're still playing it. Because a meme is so powerful that it can even influence a person to do actions even when it's not for their, good for their own welfare. Crazy. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that. Yeah, yeah meme imitating things. <laughs> I mean, Genova can replicate people uh, and memories too. And hearsay that players of particular skill have experienced strange visions of late. Visions in which one is visited by the ghost of the game's creator who speaks of portentous events. To add another wrinkle, some of the world's You've got enough wrinkles, man. have recently met with unnaturally violent deaths. People are calling this the curse of the drown. Deaths, and yet you're Not still playing. <laughs> can discern the true cause, <laughs> though it is clearly something sinister. If you wish to continue on the path of the cards, then remain vigilant. Well, it may lead to your undoing. Not die, second class. Way! I, I know, hearing that people are dying and people are still playing it and, and rereading that thing about memes, I know. That's my running theory. I'm sticking with it until proven otherwise. Fire. Obtain the, the transmuter ship. Wait, what? Oh, from, from, from Cloud Junior? So I've got to head back out. Which way is this? I'm coming, Cloud Junior! I'm coming! I trust you all the weapons. Window shopping. So somebody just told me, since I didn't even realize it sold out, it's just when you've already got the weapon. Simple as that. Am I going the right way? Turn the transmitter chip. Wait, I don't understand. It's just taking me back to the kids. Why would they hunt their friends? They didn't hunt them, just caught them for fun and stuff. The grip, so we just gotta make new ones instead. Cloud Junior must be starving, poor thing. Oh, okay, I don't know what these kids want me to go do or analyze, or... but I say fuck you, children. Fuck you. I'm not interested in your nonsense right now. I'm interested in more world intel. And. Towers, Remna Wave Towers. <laughs> so, since plugging in the uh, Ethernet cable, uh, it doesn't seem like there's been any derpa derp outs. Ray's Cactus Statue. Oh, wait, this is a thing? Oh, okay. Oh. Huh. Cloud! Raise it and hold it! 
I am holding it. All right, there you go. What does that mean? Oh, it's just it's just flashing the way I was pointing it. <laughs> so I need to point it at something. Is it back at that door? Right, please let me go into this pipe without stopping me. Let me swim to the other side. Thank you. Yay! Is the food nearly here, Gingerus? Yeah. Ginger Mortis? Ginger Miney Granger? Why is it here? I know. Come on, Cloud, you can jump that. Look. Oh! And oh! Oh, don't take me back over the river. Don't take me back over the river. Oh, you shit. Ah, you shithead. Sorry, Orky. You... What the hell? Sounds like he's still looking for the proto relic. You better find it first. Ah. <laughs> How do I get on with this? Oh! Alright, can, uh, can Kaysith go airborne? So if I roll... Oh, he doesn't need to, there's a mega fire. Alright, I don't really know what... I need to do more juices with my move. Right, got Moogle stuff. Let's go. What can I what can I do with my Moogie? So I can roll the dice. No! No! I hate this mountain! Wait, where did my Moogie go? Ah. It's so confusing. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So now, now I'm on. Right, let's go. Why not keep dismounting, bros? Drop kick. So it's circle. It's, it's definitely circle that makes it. Oh, I keep trying to dash. That's what's dismounting. Why is it taking damage? That's dismounting. Food. Food is nine. It is nine. Got a two. What does the two do? No. So loud, Come on. Come on, mate. Oh, let's do fortune. Fortune town. Can fortune telling just like randomly hit insane numbers? Like, just totally bar me. Over the top, pow pows. I'm really scared about eating this kebab, man. What? Danny! Hello, you've become Mama Danny! Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. <clears throat> so I have a new theory based on something big in the game. I'm gonna have a shirt when the time is right. Oh, ginge, mate. Yeah. Oh, all those sniffs are setting me, setting me, my, my carnal desires off. Uh, my, my hungies. Did you take it all on there? We're gonna take it to breathe. Yeah, Jen. Alright, it looks pretty good. We'll see how good their chips are. Anna, let's see how good you guys are at assessing a chip. I'm going to eat this chip, I'm going to tell you what this chip is out of 10. But everyone guess, 
What do you think this chip will be out of 10? So it's not flopping, which is a good sign. McDonald's fries, for whatever reason, recently have all been floppy, just full cock in the sock mode. But it does look like McDonald's fry. It's a bit of a, a squishiness, and it's a bit. It's, it's not enough like a like brown. Like I'm a bit browner than this, you know, a bit of a crispy crunch. I'm a little bit concerned about the colour. Just it's too it. pale. Just eat it. Jesus Christ, Ginge. Hmm. A little bit hard. Yeah, a little bit. The texture's not fully there, but they've definitely put a unique type of sprinkle on it. It's got a bit of saltiness, but a little tiny underpin of sweet, which does give it extra points, I must say. All in all, I'd say that is a... That's a 6.1 fry. There's a 6.1. Did anyone get 6.1? Josh and Katarina. Close enough. I know, but you've always got to give it a second chance. Because that, see, that's a bit, that's a bit golden now. So this... Hmm. No. That one had almost no super things on it. That was a 5.4, that one. Maybe the third one would be good. Mmm! Mmm! Now the third one is much better. Mmm! The third one's at least a 6.7. Not bad. Wow, what crazy journey this is. Ah, see, now we've got the floppy classic McDonald's cock in a sock. Um, surprisingly, that's the best of them. Wow! Mm-hmm. I was wrong about floppy chips. Floppy chips be the best. The end looks too crispy. I can tell that it's me. I'll tell you what's mediocre, a wedge. I don't know why everyone seems to always pick wedges when they can. Wedges suck. It's on you. Well, yeah, it's gonna get Kate Sif just to uh, just to do nothing. <laughs> what? Why are you a bigger phone? Blitz. Right, roll the dice and kill it. There we go. What are we gonna win? Cloud, cheese, your yeah, cheese, yogurt cock. Right, I keep going around in circles thinking I'm going to find how to get down <laughs> into this uh, crevasse. I keep not finding how. Right. Come on, call the buggy. Oh. Well, oh, this chip is a 4.1. No, that's, that's a 3. Wait, is that how you get through the tunnels? Can you buggy through? Oh my god. You can just buggy through. That's what the buggy's for. <laughs> Groovy tunes as we're grooving along on a buggy. Oh, that thing looks kind of nasty. Ah, there's the entrance. There's the entrance, boys and girls. All right, over we go. I needed this all along. Come on. Whee! 
Nice. Out we get, boys. Just finished the game. I'm broken. Hassan, the man you just finished. Oh, snap. Good broken? Bad broken? How long will it take you to mend? Did it break anyone else? God, broken. Fuck. Give me my live stream juices. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you. And so we like to Chodeswick. <clears throat> the tail of decline. Right, are you gonna tell me some nonsense? Chadley boy? No. Wherefore unto am I hithering now? Hang on, man. So give me all this good shit. There's a weapon for someone in here. Oh, no. Noble metal. Mm. Oh. Oh, hello. Can I go swimming? Please let me go swimming. Why would you put this gate here? Oh, there's another chest. <laughs> oh. 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 Handfuls of gold dust. Oh, can I definitely not go? Come on, let me, let me. Oh, that just goes out to the sea anyway. Ah. Uh, Oh, I want to get my ass up here. I'm pretty bad at navigating this world. <laughs> I'm having such a fun time. Pretty bad at you. Right, come on, Buggy Chan. I need a I need a name for my my boogie. Mm. Mm. A good name. Give me suggestions, guys. What about? What about Homelander? What about Olgi? Hiding shit around here. Ah, oh, there's a there's a chest. There's a chest on the map in this little tiny town. This is one hell of a machine Dio has given us. Oh my god, more live stream shit. <laughs> Mad Max, Red Flash. Oh, can I climb that tower? That's the question. Don't overdo it. You're in good hands now. Uh, 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 uh. Does this actually build good ATB? Mm. It's a bit of a derper move, really. A bit derpy. So, oh, so why? I guess it now. The Moogle. The Moogle has its own life bar. It has its own life bar, and after that is depleted, it disappears. Right, right, right. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can... Roll of the dice. Get slain. <laughs> Whee! Look at this! Look at these jiggles! These little jiggles! Yeah. I'm gonna drop kick the sand dude in the face. It's gonna be beautiful. You ready for it? <laughs> ready for it? Where's this fucker? 
Where is it? They are the worst. They are the worst. Right, just, just roll some dice. Ah, that'll do it. <laughs> it actually worked! Straight up! Wow, so even the action of rolling the dice can uh, pop out damage? Buggy, where are you going? Where did this... Where is, where is the bloody owl want to take me? Right, this way. Oh, lead the way then, you knob. Mm. Ah. I might have to scoot in a bit, but since I... Since I put the Ethan in, I think it's been alright. It's not too bad a monitor to do this on. I'll be back at a better time tomorrow. <laughs> Earlier start, because I know it must be late as hell for a lot of you guys right now. We're going to get... Back into the story groove. Hell to the yeah. I'm gonna go and up, edit my uh, my cool little waterfall vid. I'm gonna go eat this nasty ass bab creature. Any last things I want to finish off? Mm. You can rig the dice, by the way, by pushing it or. You can rig the dice? Huh. Or is it by doing the Upon dice after certain moves? I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. The chip can be found in a village abandoned due to desertification. This the chip. will spread if left unchecked. And eventually, the entire village will be swallowed by the sands. Do try to collect the chip before that happens. Not my problem, dude. If they die, they die. Ah, I want to get out of red screen. What else do I want to do? What do I want to do? I mean, there's so much to freaking do. <laughs> Old Republican Birdhouse. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, teach me how you rig the dice. I'll never do it because, yeah, that, that is cheating. Very unsavory. A very unsavory thing to do. Wow, well, you're going in. Oh, God. God. That's it. Stop the damage. Go on. Go on, Kate. Yeah! Yeah! Roll the dice on him. Come on, get, get fucked. Get fucked, Chimera. Yeah, I'm rigging the dice. I'm rigging the dice. Regenerative aura, that's sick. Wow, that's on all the characters as well. I love it. I love it. Why are you... Ah, oh, keep getting... Can't do dashes. Can't do dashes. Oh, damn! The move will join in too. I think it's like all out of sorts. Oh, shit! Well, let me see that again. Make him. <laughs> Go, all out of sorts. Whoa! Ah! Alright, get him! All our souls! Okay, that's pretty good! You, the teammate, and the Moogle, all whirling in. Yummy, yummy, yummy! <laughs> I love that movie so much, it's very cool. <laughs> it's very, very coarse. I need to just... I need to unlock, though. I've already got the Moogle's weapon. 
I need to do more fortune telling. Ah, okay. It's pretty cool that the Moogle is another party member. And I'm going to call him Tremudgeon. Tremudgeon, Tremudgeon the Moogle. And is that a good name? I don't know, it'd be my, my Moogle name versus your Moogle name. Everyone name your Kate Moogle right now. Don't even think about it, just do it, just go. Quick, it's got to be quick. Can anyone come up with anything better than Cromudgeon? What? So, am I supposed to be making a bird cage? What do these fucking children want? Search for a transmuter ship. Okay, well, what? Around here? Or. Or where? Maybe I should laser the bird cage for my cactuar statue. Mm. Well, I feel like that cactuar statue was actually leading me somewhere. I thought it just pointed in the direction I was facing, but no. As the crow flies that way. Ah. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Mugglesworth? What kind of shit named Jeffrey? Floor cake. Floor cake! Floor cake! No! Now, if you call it floor cake, you're doomed to die. Whoa, this is dope. Holy nips. What manner of machinery is this? Uh, your best idea, guys, on what the purpose of this thing is? What the hell? Oh, I want to parkour all, all over it. Please let me gain. Oh, wait, there's a grappling. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What am I doing up here? Where am I going to next? I don't even know. Oh, just over it. Oh. <laughs> oh, good shit. Wait, I did destroy this thing. Yeah. According to legends passed down in Corel, whenever humanity strays from the proper course, Alexander appears to recognize ah, yeah, I've already, I've already got Alex. His pronouncements are absolute and cannot be defied. Parents sometimes tell misbehaving children that Alexander might come and smite them if they refuse to shape up. Alright. Is that it? Is it all this was for? This is Alexander on the point. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, I feel like I know I'm supposed to be able to get up here. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, yeah! Yeah! What? Ah, uh, Alexander Sanctuary, sweet. Num num num. It's an excavator. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Moogly Woogly. Regly Clark. Mm -hmm. Triangle, triangle, self, triangle, triangle, self. Well, that's a bit harder. Wipe or no wipe? Very nice. Thank you. So I also saw somebody in my comments say, I don't know if you guys agree with it, Rebirth is the better game, but Remake is far funner to watch streamers do, <laughs> to actually watch people. 
because it was more compact. Whereas with Rebirth, you're just wading through people's streams, trying to look for their best bits. And it puts more highlights out, because, yeah man. There's so many juicy cutscenes buried in just a mountain of world stuff. Before it wanes, can I get him? Uh, yo, 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 great react. Glad to have someone here being able to sleep at 3 a.m. Box breathe that. Box breathe. Can I sleep? Box breathe. Come on. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, Lord. I say, go on, cat, you little ninja cat. Yeah! How do I opt to go combat? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right, I need to use, keep using fortune telling. Oh, shit, I just. I whiffed it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh. Mm. oh damage on that was piss poor. Oh, hey Sith! Get in it, Gordon. Very nice. Mastered the fortune telling ability. With Rebirth, yeah, there's a lot of different experiences that people saw because they're all kinds of dialogue options. Yeah, I didn't even realize some people are like, yo, I've never seen anyone take the Yuffie route. On, uh, <laughs> oh, we were carting down into Coral. Apparently, I took the Yuffie route and uh, no one had seen that. I was just fucking throwing a boomerang everywhere. I don't know what was happening. There's multiple options happening that I'm not even aware of multiple options. Most you can just juggling around it is. Whoa! Great react! <laughs> Thank you, mate! <laughs> Here's a five six you're getting close to me despite having like five more streams of stuff uh despite having like five more streams of stuff than my streams. Also Kate Sith is a fun juggler. Wait, air juggler? Well he juggles opponents in the air or Does he stay on the ground? I want to juggle your great react. Great react. Thank you so much, mate. Thank you so much. Uh, Remake has better pacing for actual story meets and more interesting stuff happens more often, whereas Rebirth has spread out and mixed with random open world star. Yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. It's actually pretty. Ludicrous how much bigger this game is than Remake. <laughs> right, and here's me knowing I've got like two or three people. Now, how am I supposed to get up onto that ledge if. Is there a side here I'm supposed to climb? How the fuck am I supposed to get up there then? But I've got two or three people who are about to go through the remake uh, experience first to get to this. 
damn, this kicks remakes are so hard. So hard. It's nuts. I don't know how I'm supposed to get onto that ledge. I'll be able to get down to it, but... Do I climb up this mountain, Lloyd? I went the youth route because she is best girl. Wait, how did you know what... <laughs> You're saying that like you actively knew as you were going in that minecart which way to go. Weren't you just throwing shit and panicking? Like you're only just halfway pairs and how much search do you feel like you've experienced so far? It's not that much so far. True, I mean... There are still a lot of beats to go. And uh... We have only sort of skimmed, skimmed and trimmed a few of the bits, but what great bits they have been. But yeah, I mean, there's in terms of the actual like course story. Yeah, there's a lot to go still. Am I supposed to get get down here somehow, or can I just drive off it with me boggy? What the fuck does this game want from me? <laughs> what do I do, man? What do I fucking do? You set the route as cloud beforehand by pulling a lever. Oh, 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 wait, wait, you're talking about the minor car. I can't you meant for here. <laughs> yeah? Did it make it clear? Maybe I missed something. <laughs> what were the options when you pulled the ladder? I can't remember. What were they presented as? Ow! Let's ride. Hey, Sith's got so many squeaky sounds. Yo, I am begging you guys, please, backseat gaming. How do I? How, how do I proceed? I'm lost! I want to go up there, but I can't see any way to get over. Oh, damn. The barrel option took you up for a jump across broken tracks. So you feel was a safer option. Ah, oh, shit, I missed some track jumps. That sucks. Use the buggy. All right, I'm going to use the buggy, but I mean, I can't see how that's going to help. I'll do it. All right. Unless the buggy can, like, jump off cliff edges and shit. Can it? Can it drive up walls? I can raise the cactus statue. <laughs> right. I'm going to drive into the crevasse. Yeah. Go! Oh! What the f... That's a thing! That's a thing! What the shit, dudes? 
<laughs> Wait, what's in this cave? Oh, this whole time there was there was a road. What? <laughs> Yo, now I know you can make massive fat old jumps. Whee. Sneak attack. Oh god, oh, oh god. Oh, these lamb worms are about to eat my anus. Ah, oh, Yuffie's gone. Talking of worms. So, we've made two cat friends out here. Uh, the one in the villa before this we called Schmorgus. And then in the hotel we were in there was another cat but it looked really wormy. So we called that one Wormy Sanders. Let's switch it up. Your turn Good old Wormy Sanders. Oh, I haven't done Prime Mode yet but I'm kind of I'm kind of a little bit fucked right now. Hey Sith, carry me! Roll the dice! Give me... Give me luck! Luck for when the morning comes. Cheno Tibor. Oh shit, Cloud just got eaten. Right, take Sith, double worm, solo. Okay, here we go. Roll the dice! We got this! That's it, help me team! No! Ah, should have just uh, blocked it. Ah, we got a ride. A move will give us more life. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I thought... I thought it all went on to its life bar. Self punishment. This whole sash is extra hot. How hot will it really be? I must punish, I must be punished. Oh, I heard a rant. Eh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. That happened. It's a little bit hot. It just tastes. Oh, yeah. Power. Most unpleasant. But well, I should probably heal here. Ah. Oh. 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 There we go, that's how you start. That's how you start the fight against these fools. Okay. It's fine, I ain't gonna heal because healing's for noobs and wieners. I am neither a noob nor a wiener. Don't swallow me! Don't swallow me! No! No! Thanks, God, no! <laughs> So I can do this with Just Cloud. Certainly because I was on Kate, that any of that happened. You understand? You understand this? Yes? Sneak attack, I can just block it. I should use Chakra. I'm not going to, because I'm a legend. Legends never die. Meow, 
That Moogle only has its own life bar when you hop off it. Oh, only when you hop off it. So, once you, you put the Moogle into combat, it will stay running around on the field doing uh, relatively good damage, I guess. Just like drop kicks and attack combos of its own. With its own life bar. Oh, snap. So just summoning it, dropping a little bit of poom poom power and then dis disengaging. Well, that's cool. Where, where, where is this? Where is this one there? There's a thing for me to go to. Oh, yeah. Wee. Wee. <laughs> These towers are getting cooler and cooler. Yay. Hey. Cloud, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Aaron! <laughs> Aaron, was actually stuck. Should you go jump across? Go on, Eric, come on. Mm -hmm. Her arms are just burning. Ugh. Right, who's off? Cat. Cat? Cat. Katarina? And Eric's still sweet. Okay, we've got Moo Willy stuff. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm Ank Marvin, guys. I. No part of me wants to leave this game. But. If I have any hope of getting a little travel vid out, I better go. I'd better bleeding go. So, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. If you're about. Much earlier than now. Damn, it's almost five o'clock here already. Time flies way too much when I'm playing this game. It's kind of terrifying. Is there anything cool in here before I scoot? Anything cool? A quick little cool thing? Bit of some summon. Let's avoid those. Ah, oh, this whole area is pretty damn cool. I feel bad that I left some mobs without fighting them. Oh, just want to see what's through here. Something magical is waiting through this canyon. What is it? Uh huh. Oh my god. It's so big. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to end up at Mog's house. And I ain't ended in the stream on no damn Mog house. <laughs> Alright. Good little guys. Have a good one. Cheerio. Doodle bear. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm.